other issues which i talked about was on site disposal facility uh, land land disposal is the critical part of it so i as i said we need to be very careful but the other cases where we are discharging in fresh water zones fresh water zones there there the criticality becomes very very high now normally when we look at waste uh, waste water discharge in a river uh, we we decide that based on the waste water flow uh, and and the river carrying capacity we design a certain place where it disposal can take place and i think nio gives uh, some place uh, uh, works out a location where you can dispose it of in many cases it has been seen that they have not taken into account or probably we miss out in taking that into account in which season are we talking about if i am if i am talking about flow of a river in summer or if there is also a planning to build a dam in upstream then in summer i will probably have no flow the whole river will actually flow with waste water even if it's meeting the standard with 250 cod of uh, you know effluent in a river will look dirty and uh, you know ugly so i think it's very important to keep that into account the other issue is uh, uh, relating to the ctp associations which i wanted to highlight um, many places in ctp association what has happened the person who does not generate uh, a liter of uh, waste water is the chairman right because there is a single voting pattern uh, everybody gets the same vote uh, voting pattern and obviously they are not interested in the real real thing what happens and so i'm not saying that's the only reason there are many other reasons which happens the the solution to that would be that there are stakes of industries and very strong stakes of industries which needs to be there the stakes from the government and pollution control board so mostly what happens is pollution control boards uh, get into the scene only when there is a pi and ngt case or there are complaints in fact they should be there in the beginning because they have given some subsidy and some cases uh, even land is given free of cost by the state government they should be in the middle of uh, of that game they shouldn't be watching from outside when we look at role of the government um, i think it's very important that we look at existing enforcement of regulations so a lot of people uh, we start with enforcement uh, with with a belief that everybody is a culprit uh, they they are thieves they are not likely to do it and and that's why we 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 are uh, many places we have seen that industries are being asked that you must have one day storage pond separately and we will come and there should be a lock and key arrangement will come test your effluent and then we'll take to ctp why has it happened is because the belief has gone that industry would do that minimum pre treatment which was required and and that will create problem for our ctp so these regulations now need to move in a very different way and i was i was looking at some of the recent development which has happened very good smart sensor system has come and i am not talking about the cod analyzer online cod analyzer a smart sense sensor systems which can be installed across different levels and they are they are very very small cost uh, available right now and we need to put that put all of them together the way we have our you know cell phone uh, available this this can this information can be with everybody so these are the kind of regulation which we have to now start thinking because those lock in key arrangement is good uh, not, nothing wrong with it uh, but what i'm saying is uh, it looks very very primitive uh, in one sense uh, that it, it believes that the person who is who is running an industry is is not an honest uh, person i think that needs to i think sensor system helps not only in terms of knowing what the industry effluent is coming but it also helps industries to take its own record you know what is happening in terms of process fluctuation and many times we have seen that if we if we know what is going in the effluent is possible to know what's going wrong in our operational aspect right so unless until we integrate our this process into that uh, i mean industrial uh, process and our effluent treatment process together